The DJI Mini 3 Pro is jam-packed with awesome features, some of which you may not know about. One of these is the rarely used panorama mode, and it can be used to capture beautiful shots in totally unique ways. There are four different kinds of panoramas you can take, which are photosphere, 180, wide angle, and vertical. And without further ado, let's take a look at how each of them works. So first up is the photosphere, which is a 360 degree capture. This is when the drone takes a series of pictures in all directions and then stitches them together to create a photosphere. To find the photosphere function, click on the film icon and then scroll down to pano. Here you will find four options and then click on sphere. When you are ready to start, press the capture button and the drone starts taking the photos. You can check the progress on the bar here on the right. Once it gets to 50%, it means that all the photos have been taken and the remaining 50% is for the drone to stitch the photos together. Once the sphere is complete, you can view it by going to the album and then clicking on 360 degree photo viewer. This will give you a few options as to how you can view it. You have scroll, which is a regular street view like way of viewing the sphere. You have planet, which allows you to look at the sphere by seeing the land in a circle. There's inverted, which allows you to look at the sphere by seeing the sky in a circle. And finally, there's globe, which projects the photosphere onto a 3D sphere. The next panorama type is the 180 degree picture. This is similar to a photosphere, but this time it only shows half of the view from the left side of the drone to the right side. The drone will stitch the pictures together and create a 180 degree view of the landscape. Third is the wide angle photo, which is definitely a very interesting one. This is when the drone takes a series of pictures and then condenses them into a rectangle, which ends up being narrower than if the pictures were stitched together, like in the 180 degree photo. This means that the corners of the picture would become stretched out slightly, but this helps to give the image a wide angle look, as if it were taken with a wide angle lens. Last we have the vertical panorama, which is when the drone takes three photos and then puts them into a vertical column. Start by putting the middle capture into the drone's view and then press start. The drone will take the two photos surrounding the middle one and then stitch them together. This could be great for a wallpaper on your phone for example, but you will need to crop the photo slightly because the aspect ratio here is a bit taller than the standard 9 to 16. So there we have it, those are the four unique panorama types that you can capture with your drone. And I'd love to hear how you get on with the panorama function down below in the comments. The panoramas aren't the only cool feature of the DJI Mini 3 Pro though. For example, did you know that the Mini 3 Pro can fly in FPV? Click up here in the top right if you want to see that video, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.